So casts have kind of a romantic spot in our hearts. When you have your broken wrist, you get to have everybody sign your cast and use Sharpies to draw hearts on you and everything else, and everybody has a big old laugh. But the problem is, is that casts are really actually quite uncomfortable. You sweat into them for a month, you try to put them inside of a plastic shopping bag to keep them from getting wet when you take a shower, and they're just not the greatest, most hygienic, fastest, cleanest, easiest way to immobilize an arm. But fortunately, we live in kind of a modern society where technology has caught up to where you can create customized items. So Active Armor has started making custom 3D printed casts. And we're gonna talk about this a little bit today. So Active Armor was originally started by Diana Hall, and she saw the need for the cast when she was volunteering in her hometown of Fort Collins, where she saw instances where kids had casts that were getting sweaty and dirty and nasty and couldn't really be washed without having to replace the whole cast. Um, and in some cases, she ran into folks who even had like bed bugs inside the cast. So they were a very unhygienic thing, very clearly. And as many of us know, we all know how much hair and sweat builds up underneath the cast after a little while. And then you cut it off and you're like, oh, that's disgusting. But there was a possibility to make this better. The problem was is that casts are a custom item. They have to be matched to the person who's wearing them. So custom wrapping a hand has been the only opportunity for a long time. But technology has finally caught up to a point where someone can scan an arm and then send that back to a piece of software to create a custom model. A model that can then be put onto a 3D printer to create a cast that fully immobilizes the arm, is comfortable, matches the design and size of the arm, and is reliable and clean. Since it's plastic, it can be washed, it can be worn into the shower, and you can go swimming with it. You can pretty much live your life with it, and even if you get some dirt in there, it's pretty easy to just shoot a hose up through there if you really need to, to get it cleaned out. But Active Armor ended up creating the software that enabled the auto generation of these types of casts. But then they have to be 3D printed, and that is more challenging. Production of parts is tough because you have to hit a tight timeline of when the patient gets scanned and the doctor orders the cast, and when they actually get the cast. Now it's possible for doctors to print them inside a clinic, but then you're relying on technical expertise of the doctors. So when uh, Active Armor reached out to us to help with production of parts, we had to set up a very defined process to make sure that when this order came through, it very definitely shipped on time. So when a model comes through, it automatically goes through a slicing process. The models are designed and oriented by Active Armor, but then they are sent to the printer uh, where they are produced and you end up with what is basically a green part, a part that still has a little bit of the, the printing uh, residuals left over as far as like layer lines, but those are then cleaned up and post-processed within a dedicated production line inside of our facility that has been qualified for producing these types of parts. And then we're able to produce a part that is very reliable and very consistent and very quickly. Now the patient is able to get a hold of a cast that is just more comfortable and easier to use. And Active Armor is a fantastic example of how to use the new technologies that are coming around to enable new products that are possible. Active Armor didn't try to create a 3D printer to produce this. They simply made printable files. And this is a really great example for people in general who are working within the 3D printing industry. Many folks inside of the industry focus on building the machine and figuring out how to make parts and that kind of thing. And not enough people focus on the products that are actually being made by the machines. But if you do that, you can create something that is truly amazing and can literally pull folks out of the dark ages into something that is more comfortable and more durable and more reliable because it's just easier. And it uses a technology that is well proven out and is able to produce something reliable that can now be more comfortable for kids, for the elderly, for an athlete who has broken an arm but wants to keep on training without a nasty, smelly piece of plaster wrapped around their arm. So it's awesome to see this kind of thing. Active Armor is a great example of how to use 3D printing to enable a product that has never existed before. Have a great day, everybody.